Hello everyone, and in today's episode of Cave Factory, we're going to go over what I've done between episodes, and we're going to get started on some blood magic. I'll see you guys in the video. Alrighty, folks, we are back in Minecraft doing some Cave Factory. I hope my meme's going to have a quick snack. And... The goal of today is to start going down a couple different lines of mods. Now, we started with create yesterday. I did add another uh, crafting set of frames to keep us on that uh, constant rollingness that we're going to be getting. And some more kinetic stress capacity, some more speed out of it. This thing's running a bit faster. In fact, I'm going to do this copper while we're here. It's going to be fairly fast. I did end up researching, I'm uh, not researching, refining some golden iron and breaking up some lapis and stuff to give my pickaxe a little bit of haste. Just a nice little thing. But we are going to start down the blood magic line right now. So we can start getting things like cactus and dirt to help us hopefully get a bit farther in keeping us alive longer. So I prepped the blood altar here. We can now claim up all these rewards. We are going to need these three items they gave us. I did move the spawner. You can just, uh, you can shift, right click on the spawner to pick it up. We'll turn the spawner on. Now, this is going to work a whole lot better once we do get access to vector plates. But until we get that, we'll just have to somehow get them down into that hole when they spawn and they will walk over eventually and do their thing. I'm going to seal this up so that they can't see us. They should walk down the hole, hopefully figuring out how to get to us. We are going to turn down the sounds here. 70%? That's a little bit better. All right. But now with this, we can sacrifice the zombies with my dagger of sacrifice. And then we can make a blood orb, which is for the next quest doing that. Which also gives us a few things for the spawner. You can upgrade spawners with sugar and clocks and such, but we'll get into that when we get into that. Dote, however, we need a little bit of LP in order to get dote from granite. Now, we do have granite in our dank. So we're going to smoke down a stack of granite. I'm going to split up this coal between all the furnaces again. Just give us some more stuff. Put the granite up between all the furnaces. There we go. And now... It's not working the greatest. So I would have liked to reposition this. Last time I did this, I positioned it right here. So they could see us, and they would walk down into the hole. But with that comes a bit of problems. You don't have a whole lot of room to expand your altar out afterwards. So for right now, what we'll do... We will seal in that little section there with a slab so that they cannot come. Oh, they did come down here. All right, well, we'll, we'll make some use out of this. Now that they figured out how to get down there, I'm going to grab some granite. We're going to get these guys a little bit of a love tap. That should now give us a bunch of life essence. For now, with a Nice clicking strategy. We can make dirt. It's going to be super helpful because we can begin farming once we get a little bit of water. But the next best thing... What do I need to do this? This just needs a thousand. It's two thousand. Of course, it's two thousand. But with the dirt, the whole point of dirt, you now get access to wheat seeds. But if you throw dirt on the ground... You can wait 15 seconds, just like with cobblestone and all the other ones we've been using, to actually get a different item out of it at the end of the day, which is rather nice to have. We are going to move all of our unrefined ores and stone to a different chest because it is starting to clog up this business chest. There we go. There. And now once we get these guys to fall down here and give us a little bit more life essence, we can actually begin making our blood orb. We'll 
see if they come down. They absolutely do. A little bit more life essence. Let's see if we can lure the little guy down. Come on, boys. Come on down. Atta boys. We can shove this diamond in there. That'll start making us our tier 1 blood orb. Which we're going to need to craft new things like runes. New things speed runes, regular runes, and just continuously going on with blood magic stuff, lava crystals, incense altars to get more out of your self-sacrifice. Definitely not a thing you want to miss. So we'll actually leave this orb in there. It'll charge my network. In blood magic, you do have a network of your blood that you need to, well, or life essence, we should say. That will give us a network of life essence that we can then draw upon later on to do stuff with. Now I am going to drop this dirt, but sit over there. As you can see, I did do a bunch of work. I did move this farther in. I did dig out a little bit more space, get us some more ores and such. We are going to use that later on. And obviously the mob grinder expansion. So carrots, potatoes, sweet berries, melons. Not a bad group of stuff. What we're gonna do? I'm gonna dig a hole right there and put down that dirt. The sweet berries are very strong early on, and you can actually shift to grow things. So if you get enough sweet berries, you can actually make some pretty good food very early on, to where you won't have to worry about food for a little while. Now. We have been killing a few, a a few mobs, so we do have access to bone meal. We will just spam out a few sweet berries here. Just like that, we have all these berries. Now with this, just with two berries, you can make something called a fruit salad, which gives you quite a bit of saturation. Now we're going to need a brick, which means we're going to need clay. We won't be able to do that until we do get clay from something. Which is usually the crushing wheel from the create mod. Which makes sense. But, we can also use the alchemy table to do that. Sand and water, which again we don't have water, so we have to do crushing wheels. So we're going to need a whole lot of andesite alloy and these mechanical crafters three crafting recipes of those which luckily I did make a whole bunch of wood in between episodes we can actually afford to do this I need another set of those do this there we go and there's my mechanical crafters now with that we're gonna get a barrel with this we're gonna get all that now let's talk about this so, sugar can be used to decrease the minimum spawn delay. And same thing with clocks, I believe. Decrease minimum spawn delay. So you get more out of using a clock than you would with um, anything else. How many of you guys want to come down here? Quite a few, actually. Not bad, not bad. Are you going to drain passively? This thing does drain passively after a certain point. But now we'll let that drain into the blood oil, but I don't really care right now. What we do care about is getting the clocks and sugar in here. So, as you can see, we're just... You got the thing spawner modifications. See, now we can change the spawner mod, and we're actually going to get a lot more spawns out of it now because of what we just did, which is super nice to have. Now, with these, with the thing I have in my hand, the mechanical crafters, you have to arrange them in such a fashion, kind of like this where you can access all of them. It's 
kind of a pain in the butt to get them all down the right way. Once you do, it's very helpful. This allows you to craft a bunch of stuff from the create mod. Put the export out that way. There we go. So now with this, you have to use your wrench and reconfigure everything to come down certain ways. So luckily, most of them are facing the way we want them to go. That should work. I don't know if that'll work, but it doesn't matter. If it doesn't, we can always change it later. Let's grab some cog wheels and stuff, and let's flip this around. You kind of got to get it lined up with this properly, otherwise it doesn't work super well. You want to have the little gear connect to one of these sides here. Overstressed. So somehow, me putting that there overstressed the system too much. Just delete all that. If I do this, and then I come back across with a... Okay, hold on. I've got big, small. I can do a shaft, big... A small. Actually, if I can get another shaft, that'll be fine. Actually, I can just do this and then. It doesn't have to be the fastest thing in the world, it just has to work. There we go. Now, with that, we have access to what we were trying to do beforehand. And I can just kind of attach you back down. So it's not as fast, but we can always adjust that later. But now we can do. I have some andesite cobblestone. Did I smoke that up yet or no? I did not. I'll take all of my andesite cobblestone and we will split it along these furnaces here. We're going to break down some more coal for it. I don't really care if it all finishes right now, but oh, I keep not working well, up how I want it to be. There we go. Once we get these crushing wheels, it's going to increase our productivity a whole bunch because we will actually begin to double ores. Because when you have, let's say, an iron ore and you want to double it in this mod, you have to go through the crushing wheel because it gives you a chance to actually triple it. Which is super duper nice to have that chance. Now, it's only a chance, right? So we're not guaranteeing or tripling here. We're just saying that we can do it. So, with the andesite and all this stuff, I'm gonna need how many of these? A lot. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, I need 16 andesite alloys. Is gonna need 32 andesite and 32 iron. What do I have for quests? What is completed? Food. To claim those. Just some XP. Not too bad. We're gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna let this smelt up a little bit. I'll be back once we have everything we need for this. Okay, guys. Be back in a minute. Alrighty, guys, and with that 16 alloy, we can now just shove all of this into here. And look at that. Now it's beginning to put itself together how it needs to be. Why are you going back that? That's the wrong way, dude. You are dumb. Oh, it's working. Let's go, crushing wheel. Epic. Now we got our crushing wheels. Now, by the way, these mechanical crafters will never become useful again for the longest time until we start making things like the ultimate catalysts. So for now, we can clean this up and put it back to how it was. We just don't need them that much anymore. So with that said and done, 
we are also going to start making a few more things for our progression here. I'm going to rip all this andesite out of here after this, and I'm going to put the iron in. But I do need to have some iron. Right now, this is looking fine. We no longer need the millstone. But we do need to get a thing. So we have shoots here that let it input output. We also need to get what's called the gear shift, which needs a gear box. Once a gear box is made, we can pretty much have fun doing whatever we want. This is going to help us maintain a certain direction of movement in our system here. So, let's grab the gear box quest. Just need some of this, which needs some more planks. So I'll make up a bunch of planks. Make a casing, make the gearbox. The gearbox is super useful for just transferring energy to a different direction. Now that's important. Make another barrel. Yes, barrels are super awesome too. What we're gonna do, we're gonna keep our wrench down. We're gonna claim that gear shift. And then we're gonna grab a piece of cobblestone from our dank. And do this we're gonna make a lever for it there we go and now what we can do we can speed this up as fast as we want it to be let's speed up the crap out of this it was all my stuff there we go let's speed the crap out of this let's let's just get this going as fast as we want it to go hey okay, that looks pretty fast all right now what we're gonna do Offset them like that, put a gear shift on one side, with a lever. Okay, then a shaft coming straight out that way. And then, crushing wheels. So just like that, that's how a crushing wheel system works. We are now able to run a crushing wheel system like this. We are done what our job is to make a crushing wheel system. Now the speed at which the wheels the speed at which the wheels will turn directly correlates with how fast you're going to grind through items. So if we wanted to grind through, let's say What's our first quest here? Make some sand. So we wanted to get some sand. We need to go through gravel and then whatever type of cobblestone we have a lot of that we don't really care about, which in this case, is going to end up being um, scoria. Oh, scoria. Put the scoria in there. It's going to grind it up. It's going to do so at a very fast rate. And with that, no output gravel. Then the gravel we can either use for certain things or put back through the system in order to make sand. And then that means we have sand to grow sugar cane on once we get water. This is a very important line to go down if you want to get to the Tinker Smeltery stuff and get better tools. But we need to go down the line and get cactuses and mechanical mixers. We are going to need a mechanical mixer, a basin, and to get that we're going to need a depot and a mechanical press. Just like that, we have all that clay. Now, with the sand, you can go through and get lime sand, or you could wait, use it for something else, and you can get clay out of it by just simply washing it with a bulk washer. Which, next step is to get the mechanical press. That's our next job to do. That will allow us to continue down the line that we need to go down. But, I'm a little hungry. So we're going to make that brick up, and we're going to do the thing we need to do. We do have the press, done, depot, done. So now we can start making plates. And we can make ourselves the cutting board, I believe it was. Yep. And then that, with the sweet berries, make us fruit salad. 
now we have a source of food. And a pretty dang good source of food, if I say so myself. So now, with that done, we can now begin to make plates for things like the mechanical mixer, which needs five iron plates to make the whisk end for it. Which is rather important. Now, the way the system here is running, we cannot take power out of anywhere. Break that, place down your gearbox. Now you can just spooge power out this way, and you can now utilize your depot system. And we're still running at a decent rate. So, what I'm going to do, because the grindstone has a chance to double things like redstone, has a chance to double things like diamond, we can also go through and put basically all of my ores through there, because at this rate it no longer matters what we do, just that it gets done. the fact that this is now facing the wrong way, and we can just turn that back, and then it'll begin crushing. Yep. So, they have to be spinning opposite directions. When the gearbox went down, it kind of glitched that. We actually no longer need to have the gear shift over here. We can just replace that with shaft, and save the gear shift for a later... Ooh, that's a lot of redstone. Alright. You can now just go ahead and save that for something else. Why are you... why are you dropping stuff like that? What is going on here? Oh, because it's going out the other end now. Okay, well that's not fun. I'll have to look back and fix this another way later on. Right now it's just going to dump all of this stuff out into the above area. It's dropping down and then dropping back up. For now it's fine. We'll figure out how to deal with it later, but until then. Uh, cactus. We do need cactus. Let's take this dote. Let's just go drop the dote. Because I'm not gonna... I said we're gonna drop the dote. There we go. The game don't want me to drop stuff, apparently. Amen. Just like that. We have a whole bunch of resources that we're just sitting on right now. I wouldn't mind getting a upgrade for that chest because we need to get a uh, iron to gold chest upgrade. Yes, one of these. Now we can store most most stuff in here. All right, so that's all of that done. You still haven't given me a cactus. So on that note, we gotta go grind through some more blood magic. Do I have any blood? I have zero blood, because I had it all going into there. Let's now turn back on the spawner, and I will be back once we get cactus. I'll see you guys in a minute. I'll also prep some other stuff. Alrighty folks, so as you can see, from that uh, dote, I got about five cactus, and a bunch of other stuff. I'll show you the chest. I got some kelp, some bamboo, some other seeds and stuff. Really super helpful. I did go ahead and make the mixer. Quests are all filled in. All we have to do now is make water. So, basically just end up tossing four cactus in. And it will slowly mix up just like that. And now you'll have a bucket of water. Now, clearly if you wanted an infinite water source, you're going to have to do this twice and then literally never again. But... Because right now I only need the one bucket, we'll be alright. Let's claim all these rewards. That is a lot of rewards. I got two more cactus, which we can actually use to grow more cactus. Another cane to plant down there. Because now that we have these things that we do have, we can... The Gluttony Charm also lets you eat things instantly, which is super nice when you're a big hungry boy. We can now begin farming stuff for, you know, other areas of the game. 
water now basically gives access to uh, infinite water. We can go to the nether, get quartz, do all this kind of stuff. But it also gives us easier access to things like clay. We can all do fan washing now to get more out of our ores. As you can see, I've been grinding down a fair amount of ore. It gives us a lot more options to work with our stuff than it would have regularly. Now on that note, I'm also going to grind through all this gravel because I need extra clay for the smeltery. Not too big of a worry though right now. This all has to begin growing anyway. But that is where I'm going to end off the episode, guys. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below. Leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel. It's always free. You can always take it away later. And you'll be seeing another episode of 7 Days to Die tomorrow. I'm going to offset them a little bit so we have some variety on the channel. But thank you guys for watching. If you need any more explainers on how this stuff works, let me know. And I'll be happy to go back and explain. Thank you so much for all the support. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.